If you want to jazz up your Ecamm Live overlays with flashy graphics around the outside, just like this, then stick around because I'm going to show you how to do it. It takes almost no skill and at zero cost. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and yes, in this video we are talking all about how to create some uh, slightly maybe upgraded <laughs> snazzy graphics for your Ecamm Live overlays and maybe not be quite so boring like me and just have a static border around the outside. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but when you've maybe watched other people's streams, have you ever got <laughs> overlay envy <laughs> seeing all of the fancy graphics that they've got going on? Well, uh, I certainly have on occasion and uh, usually you can probably bet that if somebody has those sorts of graphics in their overlays, then it's due to in a large part, uh, skill and expertise on the part of the creator in order to create those in a graphics package of some form. Uh, however, what I'm gonna show you today is probably a little bit of a cheat. It's a way that you can get a similar effect uh, without the skill <laughs> and without any cost. If you are somebody who maybe doesn't have the time to learn to use such packages or doesn't maybe have the uh, the time to just actually make the graphics in the first place. So this is just a little way around it that you may be interested to know about. And incidentally, the overlays which I'm going to show you, show you I basically made in around about uh, 10 minutes it's taken me before starting this video so I'll just quickly show you the overlays that I've created so here we go we've got the one I showed you at the beginning I'm not sure I can really carry these off to be honest as a uh, <laughs> as the on-screen talent but there you go I'll leave you to judge that it's probably a little bit too flashy for me but there you go uh, so we've got this as a sort of one-up view uh, then we've got another one which is a picture in picture uh, share or rather screen sharing I should say. Uh, the next one is a sort of two up. Uh, obviously Billy no mates here. Nobody joining me on this call. Uh, the next one is a, a two up obviously with a desktop. Then we've got the uh, three up view when you're doing in interview mode. Uh, finally a four up. And one thing you'll notice about all of these is we've got this thing going on in the background and it is exactly the thing, same thing that is going on in the background in each one and that is it is this video that is running. So that is basically uh, the little trick is to find a video like this that is a, a looping video that is just purely sort of abstract graphics. Where would you find a video like that? Well that is what I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you with uh, using the screen sharing that I've just created, <laughs> the screen sharing scene. So here we are in Safari and this is my website. If you haven't been already, takeonetech.io uh, to find out about the gear that I use, the link to my podcast, my blog and various other different things. Uh, but we don't want to look at that at the moment. <laughs> what we want to look at is this website, which is called pexels.com. Not pixels, but pexels. <laughs> P-E-X-E-L-S. I will leave a link, obviously, down in the description. I did a video previously all about another free stock image website called uh, Unsplash. Uh, and unsplash.com is another great resource for free stock imagery that you can use in your graphic overlays and so on. Uh, but pexels is more orientated towards actual video. And so they do seem to have a bigger uh, video library than you would find on Unsplash. But once again, it is the same thing. And in fact, they claim <laughs> that they are the best free stock photo and video uh, shared by talented creators. So uh, that's their claim, not mine. I don't know that they're the best or not, but they're certainly quite good for what we're looking for. So all I did to find find my little abstract video loop for the background is I, funnily enough, I typed in abstract loop and then searched in the videos. You can search in the photos, videos or so on, but I did a little search in the video section. And if this looks familiar, first one nearly, nearly at the top of the page, uh, that is the one that I just grabbed just as an example. But as you can see, they have got really quite a lot of different abstract backgrounds and you can just hover over them and get a little preview of what the video will look like when it's playing and like this and like this and as I say it is free stock imagery and the reason why is because these are uh, creators who are basically showcasing their work and then also on the site you will find every so often there'll be a link to other content on other platforms such as Shutterstock uh, for example which is a paid stock footage platform. So this is uh, where we can scroll down and just find something that takes our fancy. So here you can go, you can see there's an advert here for, uh, in this case, iStock. So that is another paid service. So that is how basically the site keeps going. It's by uh, promoting other paid stock footage uh, providers. And if you click on one of these, then uh, it will take you through to some information about it. And then also you'll be able to go and find more of their work. And some of that is on paid sites as well. 
So anyway, this is the site and this is where I got that uh, stock footage from, which was the one right at the top here. And all I did was I downloaded that. And if I just come back out of here and I'll give you a little quick demonstration of how easy it is to integrate this with your uh, Ecamm Live. Uh, because if I come into demo mode a second and I'll open this just blank screen. So this is just a blank scene where I've got the source set as blank, but you could actually just navigate to the video file by coming here go to choose file and then just find that file that you've just downloaded from pexels or we can simply just grab it from here and drag it onto the screen just like that now usually as a default it will default to having picture in picture uh, just like that in the bottom corner but then you can switch that off and you can add uh, camera overlays as you see fit so uh, this is how i sort of built up that scene was by just simply adding on uh, a camera if i just click on down here so here we've got one camera and I could make that for example a uh, uh, custom size something like that and then maybe I could add another one for another guest for the interview mode so I'd come over to here and I would add in here change this to say guest one and then I would change that to custom size and the overlays themselves, the little borders that I had around it, I simply made those in uh, Keynote. Uh, I've already done a video on how to make board, uh, how to make overlays in Keynote, so I will leave a link to that in the description. But basically, the borders are quite simple. You can see them in this little folder down here. So my two up just looks like this. It's literally just a purple border with a transparent background. And then in, I did these in Keynote, and then I had a color in the middle of the two boxes, and then I just keyed those out using instant alpha in uh, preview after I'd exported them. This is all explained in the video I did all about creating overlays in Keynote so I won't bore you by uh, covering that all again there but then simply I just drag this onto the frame here onto the scene rather and then it's just a case of lining these up uh, like this like this and like this and in literally uh, creating these borders in Keynote takes a matter of minutes and uh, exporting them into here takes a matter of minutes and so there we go i've now got a whole new set of graphic overlays which look a little bit more jazzy <laughs> than simple borders and so i'm sure if you have a look in the pexels website you may be able to find something that uh, looks uh, looks quite good and in keeping with your um, your theme and certainly as i say it's just a quick and easy way to add some interest without having to be a graphic design expert and uh, i hope you have found that useful and if you have found that useful then don't forget to go and like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever i do make another video and you see it looks boring already we're back to my boring old scene borders oh well never mind <laughs> as i say I hope you found that useful and don't go anywhere because I've got more great videos coming up right now on the right hand side. Have a great day everyone, bye bye.